Welcome to this week's little weekend video. The one series that is apparently ongoing even though all my other videos are failing to go on on time, so yeah. Weekend videos are easy to do. I think. I have no idea. Oh well. And this video is probably titled Code Lyoko. Is this nostalgia? Because... Well, this is a show that I remember. Kind of. I remember knowing it. I don't remember really anything from it. It actually is one of my oldest memories, I think. Which is probably very sad and odd, but... Well, that's how memories work, and especially if you have a memory like mine that is not a memory. I just don't remember anything, ever. Yeah, apparently that's really odd, and it's really odd to learn that, that to learn that, oh, most people do remember stuff. So yeah, that got kind of depressing. But yeah, this really strange old memory is, if I remember correctly, we were, me and my family were in a house in France, I think. And there was absolutely nothing to do there. I mean, there were things around the area that we went to every day, but... Well, at that point, I... Well, I did have brothers, but... Well, one brother is disabled and the other is a lot younger than me. Which meant that he was basically a baby back then, so yeah, I couldn't really play with him either. And this was pre-me having a PSP. Not even to think of a phone you can play games on. And there was no internet, because this was basically pre-internet for me as well. So instead I kind of played outside imagining stuff. And I remember imagining that I was in this show that I watched back then. And... Well, I basically remember two things really from the show at that point. I remembered what character I liked most, or at least, no, I remember what character design I liked most. And I remember that I didn't like that character as a character. And now, years later, thanks to the mysterious Mr. Enter, who does some cool videos that I... Well, I advise that you check him out. I don't know if you'll like his stuff, but you might, so... Yeah, why not give it a quick look? i probably give a link in the description if I remember to. But yeah, if I don't, um, the mysterious Mr. Enter. Animated atrocities and admirable animations. But in his top, I don't know, what was it, 20? Or some? Uh, yeah, I think 20. His top 20 intro tunes, intro themes, whatever, for animated series, one of them was for Code Lyoko. And then I found out, oh my god, that is that show that I remember knowing. And, well, ever since when this goes up, two days ago, when I'm recording this one day ago, I've kind of been binge-watching uh, Code Lyoko, because, if I'm correct, all the uh, videos are on YouTube, and, well, I'm watching them on... The Code Lyoko English Official. That's the channel, and it just has all the episodes, I think. And, well, I've been really enjoying it. I mean, it's not perfect. Especially the earliest episodes have a bit wonky animation, both in the 2D and 3D department. Oh, by the way, this show combines 2D and 3D animation, and... It came out in... 2006, I think? If I remember correctly. I mean, that's not me from remembering it, remembering it back then. Absolutely not, because I don't remember stuff, like I said. No, I looked it up, I think, today, and... Well, I think I remember that it was released in 2006. Do series like that get released, or... Do they get... I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I have no idea. I have... Kind of no idea what I'm doing as well. Um, welcome to my channel, if you're new. This is basically what my videos are. Me, 
kind of rambling random thoughts with hopefully this has some uh, Code Lyoko uh, music behind it but yeah this is basically what it is what was I going on about? oh yeah that I mean the earliest episode the 2D animation and the 3D animation is not perfect I mean it will never really age well because it uses CG which it never really uh, that never dates well now does it I mean it's perfectly watchable I mean that's also the thing I mean is it perfect no and does it show its age a bit probably but it's still fun I do keep noticing little things like sometimes continuity of certain things are not exactly perfect some details they have are kind of wrong even if it's set in the future which I don't think it is I mean for instance um, a satellite with a laser no I mean well we do have satellites with lasers but not destructive lasers that is simply kind of not possible I mean there's no way we can get a laser into space but it's minor things like that it's not important I noticed that they reuse animation but it doesn't bug me in any way and I really say check it out just check out maybe the first episode is it a good series well yeah I think so I go audibly yes or ooh or sounds like that which is really good it really shows that yeah this show has me invested I laugh when it wants me to laugh and even though every time I mean it's kind of formulaic at some point but I still really I mean every time it's a really close call at the end every time so you know it's going to happen and yet it does get to me most of the time so yeah it's a really interesting show it's a really good show and I still don't know the names of the people in it which is kind of annoying Yay, dyslexia. I mean, if a name is said, then I know exactly who they are talking about, but... In my mind, they are still... Girl, guy, odd, which is the one guy's name that I can remember because it's a word. Tech guy, which is really annoying that I don't know his name because I really like him as a character. I mean, I like all of them as a character, but... And virtual girl, which is also just a really cool part of this series. I mean... Yeah, like I said, go just check out the first episodes. It's 23 year minutes. It's not that long and it really does explain everything very well. And yeah, it's, it's cool. But it does bring me kind of to the question that is in the title. Is this nostalgia? And there are two sides to this. On one side, it refers to... Huh, am I experiencing nostalgia? Because this would, I think, be the first time for me to experience nostalgia. This is the first time that I'm going back to something old. I mean, maybe you can consider Lego Indiana Jones for the PSP as nostalgic, but... I don't know. I mean, I haven't played that in years as well. But yeah, this is kind of... I mean, I know that Skyrim will be nostalgic for me. I'll always look fondly back on it, even though when way better games are out, I'll still probably get a ton of enjoyment out of Skyrim, even if the Test 6 is just twice as good. I know I'll be nostalgic towards Skyrim. But yeah, I think this is the first thing that I am... I might be nostalgic towards. I say might be, because, well, like I said, I remember knowing about the show, but I don't remember the show and the two things that I remember were I liked how odd looked and I didn't like odd and now I do like odd I'm rewatching it and yeah I like odd so is it nostalgia if I don't agree with my with what I previously thought of it and I mean it's also not like when I'm watching it that old memories come back I mean that might have to do as well with that I'm now of course watching the English dub which and originally 
I think I watched the Dutch dub. Although, I think I, I, we were in a house in France, so... I don't know, it might be that I watched the show in French. I really don't remember. Like I said, it's... I kind of remember knowing about it, but... I don't remember anything from the show. Oh, and one other good thing about the show, I think is good. The bad guy? Or the bad girl? Or the bad... it? I mean, this is probably one show where the villain is definitely binary. Where the main villain is definitely sexually binary. Which is a horrible joke, because people who know the joke, uh, that know the show, will think... Oh my god, that is the worst pun ever. And people that don't will... Well, they will either be... Oh, it's 2017, you can't say that. Which is... I mean, on one side I do agree, but on the other... Just don't get so mixed up about it. And... Or they are just... I don't get it. This is a joke. But yeah, it's a... It's a really bad joke. Go watch the show if you want to know why. Like I said, it's... It's good. And yeah, the first episode will also show that. But yeah, the bad guy, he really wants these four kids dead. No, actually he wants all five of them dead, but just for the four that are in the real world. Because this has a real world and a virtual world, which is also really clever, by the way. I mean, the real world is 2D animated, and the virtual world is 3D animated, which is a really good way that you can get away with things not looking that great. With the uh, 3D animation kind of looking dated, because, well, it's not real. It's the virtual world. But yeah, the bad guy, he really wants those four kids dead. This isn't just, oh, those four meddling kids, they always foil my plan. No, he wants them dead. This is just, oh yeah. He will try to cut off your head. He will try to choke you. This show made laughing gas menacing. You think you don't fear rats? How about literally a swarm of them that has the goal of eating you? Yeah, this is... um. This show is a bit dark. At times. It's, it's also so good. Like I said, it's... It's, I think, a good show. I've enjoyed it a ton over the last two days. And I sh probably shouldn't have been binge-watching this. I probably should have been studying, but... Oh, well, what can you do? Well, you can just go study, but... Nah. So, yeah, that's... I mean, leave in the... Leave in the comments if you think that this counts as... Nostalgia, because... It might... But it might also not, because, I mean, it's not bringing up old memories when I'm watching it. It's me now that is enjoying it. It's not old me that enjoyed it and that enjoyment is coming back. No, it's, yeah, I, it's strange. But yeah, let me know if this ending seems odd. It's because I feel like I forgot something and it's kind of bugging me. So there might be another ending to this uh, video. There might be a bit added to the end, but I remember, hopefully. Warframe, did you happen to take some inspiration from this? I mean, there are definitely, it's not the same, but there are definitely parts that seem to have drawn a bit of inspiration, or at least that seem to have some of the same ideas. For instance, the cube enemies and the death orbs. Yeah, there is a bit of crossover there, isn't there? And one of the main things in the world, in the virtual world of Kodoko, the towers. And what were those Oricon things called again? Oh yeah, those were Oricon towers, weren't they? And that stuff around the base of those towers? And that looks a lot like the things that the infested create, doesn't it? I'm not saying that they ripped it off, of course they didn't, but... Yeah, I think they did take some inspiration, which I think, I mean, it's really cool, and could that be why, originally, also part of why I liked Warframe? 
could be. I would have no problem with that at all. And I'm also actually kind of really happy that now that I'm getting really into Code Lyoko, Warframe is releasing fan weapons. Yeah, I'm very okay with this. Yeah, I guess this has been Phoenix. Saying farewell. And I'll leave you with this series awesome theme. It's really bloody good. <laughs>